Okay, so we took out the heavy gear this morning and we're gonna target some bronze whaler sharks. Okay, so we took out the heavy gear this morning and we're gonna target some bronze whaler sharks. I've got Eric the Clerk here with me. So morning, Eric, mornings, guys. So Eric he really wants to catch a big bronzy. So we're gonna make the most of it. See if we can catch Eric a big bronzy today. And maybe I'll even get a chance to catch one myself. But the um, water doesn't look too bad. Um, see, settled really nicely. I'll show you the formation that we are fishing. Tide is still dropping, so um, we're gonna fish over the, the back of the break, breakers, fish over a lip. We found a little lip here, it's not a real prominent lip, it's more of a sloping bank. But those bronze whalers like to you know, swim behind the breakers, come onto the bank, come into the hole, and that's how they go. And that's where they feed. So, just gonna show you guys where we're fishing. So, if you guys can see, so if you guys can see, you need to get your bait behind those breaking water there. So we're going to wait out here and then throw our baits over. I just want to see if this is nice and clean. It's clean enough. Yeah, so over that breaking water, that's where we're going to fish. Um, there's a little hole coming in here, but um, it's definitely too low at this stage. But um, for now, we're definitely going to get over here. So, yeah. So that's what you're looking for, you're getting, you want to get your bait into the deeper water or as close as possible to the deeper water. Those bronzies trail the back line, come onto the bank, they feed on the lesser sand sharks, they feed on the small hound sharks and then also they feed on the mullet. So a bait of choice this morning is going to be a live mullet. Um, that's going to be the first bait and um, we're going to start off here. If we don't get a bite with the, the first hour, we're going to pack up our stuff and we're going to head up a little bit more along the coast searching for um, the right formation to push for a bronze. Um, definitely with the push this afternoon, if we can't get over, we'll find a hole and then we'll fish in the holes. So yeah, but anyway guys, just a little reminder, the online shop recently launched and um, I'm wearing one of the hoodies now, I'll show you the back. Um, let's check it out. So, yeah, I really, I really appreciate if you guys support the channel by going onto the online shop and go and check it out and buy yourself some merch. Um, it's just www. <laughs> it's just www.zulukfishing.com. Go and check it out. Link will be down in the description. But I'm talking way too much. Let's get a bait out and make that throw. So you don't get it through all that for your own Yeah. Where do you suggest I throw? Do you want? I just wanna. I don't wanna fish for a bronzy just yet. So I'd rather get a bait out for Eric. And um, if he hooks into a bronzy, I'll fish for a big bronzy. But uh, I think for now we're gonna get him a live bait out. Right, my little swing beautifully. And um, then I'll put myself on the bait for something like a hammerhead or a small grey shark or just anything just to keep myself busy and maybe catch something. And then I'll start to fish for a, for a brandy a little bit later. But um, let's first 
try and see if we can't get an Eric one. Okay, so Eric's rod is out. I'm just gonna go with a mackerel head and a, like a 9 0 hook. I wanna go too light and too small, but I'm fishing light braid. I'm fishing only like a 20 pound braid. Um, let's see if I can't get it with a little bit of distance. I'm fishing for a hammerhead with smaller bronzy. And uh, well, like I said, I'll fish for a bigger bronzy a little bit later. So it looks really like a water temperature is good about 18 degrees a little bit of color in the water not too clean not too too much um, of a color um, so it's really good i'm really optimistic and i think it might be a bite or two today So you draw it, draw it in and in. Okay, draw it a bit over. Give me a second, give me a second. Draw it, draw it, draw it, draw it. Don't draw it, eh? Okay, draw it, draw it a bit further, a bit further. Draw it a bit further. There we go. Okay. Hehehe. Let's go. Let's go. That is a bronze whale. <laughs> Ha 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 Zak je stokken dik in. I guess he's on. <laughs> Solid. Woo. <laughs> oh. Uh, what happens? Yeah. <laughs> One zero. We'll try again. Oh, off the boat. Jeez. Look at that. Bitten off. My word. Okay, damn it. I had a swim through and there's Eric on. 
It's going to go into an assisting. As they come, drag them. Drag, 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 drag. Will you drag with your stiver? So, take it. I get the swim through hard, you can see. I get the swim through hard. <laughs> okay, sun is not too lekker, but there is Eric on. Um, that lifeboat was in for probably a minute. Mine was in for probably three minutes. And um, I had a swim through, and it swam me off. And there is another one going on. Thanks for coming, Mickey, first of all. Grand Mickey, yeah. There you go, a younger specimen. About 30 kilos. Is that? For younger angler. <laughs> junior bronzy for a junior angler. <laughs> Okay, so what happened was, I didn't really explain to you guys, um, we were fishing down at the bottom and uh, Flores, one of my friends, told me that um, there's a couple of bronzy bites here, so we moved down and I just came back from fishing mullet and there's Eric on. The better fish? That's a much better one than the previous one. Um, Wind really picked up now. Uh, the waste is pumping. The bronzes are biting. Um, once Eric is done with this one, I'll make a throw as well. Look at that. Woo, look Through my main line. And hopefully, we'll get 
in a line now. Let's see if we can convert proper fish over 100 kilos. That'll be like it. The sun is just bad for falling today.
of pressure on this fish guys like a lot of pressure and they are really strong today So he's over the over the breakers in the white water. So now it's just a matter of everything staying intact and I'm sure we'll land him. Uh, bit of a brutal fight. Um, I was a bit hard on the fish. And sometimes that's what you need to do when when there's a lot of fish in the area not to get cut off swim 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 off by other shots well, there's fluid is close to it now it's a good fish it's a good fish so get out the camera get out the camera Go and film the fish there! Film the fish! Good for 
place on the air. Okay, it's lucky that there's someone that can grab the fish, so I can just carry on walking backwards. Because um, it wasn't a long fight, but I promise you guys that I can feel this short fight on my back. Because um, it was quite an intense couple of minutes of the fight. No, I'm sure Fleur is gonna I'm sure Fleur is gonna grab it now. Come on. It's 215 pre quarter length. That's to the pre quarter notch right here. I'm not too sure what that is. It's probably like 135 to 140 kilos. But um, good condition fish. Um, yeah, it took me about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to land it. And um, look at that. Not a bad fish at all. Okay, just want to get a lucky photo. Lucky guys, solid fish. We'll return it now. That circle look will come out really nice and easy. One over a hundred kilos. <laughs> Man of no comment. <laughs> Man of few words. Well, I think it was written off the fourth time. See the camera. The fourth time while I was busy um, landing that fish. So yeah, let's try. Thank you, boys. <laughs> 